Hey. Where'd you get that accent? Come on now, sugar. Y'all don't mean to tell me a yank like you has never met someone from the South. I was in New Jersey once. <laughs> well, honey, I grew up in a little town along the bank of the Mississippi River. I'm as southern as mint juleps and magnolia trees. You're lucky. At least you've got a mutant power that's easy to hide. Oh, it's not that easy, Allison. I can never touch someone without taking something from them. Oh, I never thought of that. Once, I bumped into Nightcrawler and I was blue for a week. Night who? Never you mind, sweetheart. You'll know him when you see him. Talk to you later. Don't be a stranger, y'all. <laughs> Man. Wow, the scenery around here just improved 100%. Jean said you were cute, but that was the understatement of the century. You must be Bobby Drake. Hey, it's nice to see my name's gotten around. Did the other girls tell you what a cool dude I am? No, but Jean Grey warned me to keep an eye on you. Oh, well, don't believe everything Jean says. She still hasn't forgiven me for that little incident in the changing room. Man, you enter one room without knocking and you're branded for life. <laughs> I've heard you have the mutant power to freeze anything instantly. Yep. I can drop my body temperature and the air around me to sub-zero temperatures. It lets me cover my body in a protective shield of ice that even bullets can't get through. Pretty wicked, huh? Yeah, I'll say. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. It's always nice to meet a new student, especially one as pretty as you. Thanks, Bobby. But I'm not sure I want to be a student. Ah, oh, come on. It's a lot of fun. Plus, you learn how to use your powers. I'm not sure. Being able to generate lava kind of freaks me out. You get used to having mutant powers. After a while. Eventually, you'll even get to like them. I hope to see you soon, Bobby. Oh, you can count on that, Allison. <laughs> Upstairs is the next place to go. So I've already been there. Um, let's see. Go that way. There's a staircase. I don't. No, you cannot go in there. Go to the dormitories and meet everyone else. Standing near objects that can be used in length, a pro X prompt will appear. Okay. Um, okay, you have to open the doors here. But well, let's check out the end of the hallway first. there. No. Where is everyone? Go that way. That's the elevator to go downstairs. Finally, someone to talk to. Why, you must be Allison Cressmere. You're even prettier than Jean said you were. And you are? My name is Aurora Monroe, but here at the X Mansion, I'm usually referred to as Storm. Where are you from? 
I'm originally from Kenya, Africa, but Professor Xavier asked me to join him here at the mansion. You're a mutant? I'm a teacher and a gardener. And yes, I'm also a mutant. I have the ability to control the weather. No way! I can make it rain, sleet, or snow, even lightning. I can also control the wind, which allows me to fly. Professor Xavier told me about the danger room. What's it like in there? Stressful and exhilarating. You can never be sure what the professor or beast is going to throw at you. Aren't you afraid of being hurt? No. There are safety locks to protect us from serious harm. But the danger room does have a habit of leaving you with a few aches and pains. I'll see you later. I hope to see you soon, Allison. The room is pretty messy. Mm, no one there. Concept art. Nothing there yet. Anyone here? Play trivia game. Rogue had once been romantically involved with which evil mutant? Arcade, Shadow King, Pyro, Magneto, or Avalanche? I think it's Avalanche. No? It was Magneto. The address for the X Mansion is... Um, let's go with... Probably gonna get it wrong, but the first... Nope. Brain locking. Okay. Which of these characters was the first X-Men? I'm gonna say Angel. No? Who isn't a member of the Brotherhood? I'll say Gateway. Name the machine Xavier uses to augment his psychic powers. That's easy. Cerebro. Why can't Cyclops control his optic blast? A uh, head trauma as a child. Gambit's father trained him to be a thief. Nightcrawler is originally from Germany. When Jean Grey is overwhelmed by her power, she becomes the Phoenix. Who is Cyclops' brother? That's going to be Havoc. Mara McTaggart runs what facility? Mutant Research Center on Muir Island. Who is not truly a mutant? It'll be Juggernaut. Wolverine was forced to stay at the father of the woman he loved. What was the father's name? Uh, I'm going to go with Hiro Takachiho. No, Shingen. Cyclops' father was leader of which group? Star Jammers. Yep. Who develops Sentinels as a deterrent to mutants? That would be... Oliver Trask. The original X-Men went to the Coffee of Go-Go to listen to a beatnik, beatnik known as uh, I'm gonna say Bernard the Poet maybe? I don't know that one. Magneto's Outer Space Base. Asteroid M was, has also been referred to as uh Geno no, Geno says the island. Am I gonna s Camelot? No, Avalon. <clears throat> Who wears a helmet to protect against psionic attacks? That would be... Oh, Juggernaut. The metal bonded to Wolverine's bones is Adamantium. Which is the codename for Kitty Pride. It would be... Kitty Pride. Um, I'm gonna say maybe Blink? No, Sprite. Toad's real name is... Mortimer Twainbee? Huh. Aside from being a powerful telepath, Emma Frost can also... 
Change to a diamond hard substance. Maurice son, uh, Kevin McTigard was also known as, I'm going to say, Proteus. Okay, that's the Hellfire Club for this one. Before she turned into a dark phoenix. Which X-Man is immune to Rogue's power? Would that be Gambit? No, Colossus. Okay. Storm's biggest fear is enclosed spaces. For Rogue, maybe she and Colossus should date them. Okay. Enough of that for now. Spent a lot of time already on it, so let's do... Go to the, um, what's it called, the danger, danger room, war room. Let's go to the sub-basement. Grab the next quest. Okay, so... That's not it. That's not it. <clears throat> Is that it? Oh, there's Nightcrawler. No beast. I'm. Oops. I pressed the green button before. Are you Hank McCoy? Yes, indeed. Although my code name is Beast, for obvious reasons. I didn't always look like this. My animalistic appearance is due to a further genetic mutation. Aren't you Alison Crestmere? The young lady they aided in New York today? Yeah. I'm sure everyone's heard of me. I'm the freak who can turn a mini-mall into mini-Pompeii. Alison, my dear, you are most certainly not a freak. You are a mutant, just as I am. Since you're a scientist, could you explain to me exactly what a mutant is? It would be my pleasure. You see, Mother Nature has a way of changing life forms, experimenting with them to see what would better help a species to thrive in its environment. That's evolution, like what Darwin wrote about. Very good, Allison. Correct. And recently, evolution has decided to endow various humans with an X-gene, which is what gives us special abilities. So mutants are really just the next phase in human evolution, and the X-men strive to be the conscience of this new breed. It's quite exciting. The people in New York didn't think it was exciting when I started making lava burst out of the ground. I bet my friend Mandy will never talk to me again. You never know what the future may hold. In the meantime, you have new friends, Allison. A whole mansion full of mutants who know exactly what you're going through. Thanks for the talk, Beast. My pleasure, Allison. Feel free to drop by any time. Perhaps we could discuss Darwinism in greater detail. Attention, X-Men. Meet me in the war room immediately. With the aid of Cerebro, I've learned the Brotherhood is en route to Alaska. It appears their destination is the facility for the high-frequency active auroral research program, also known simply as HARP. What would the Brotherhood want at HARP? All that facility does is study the ionosphere. 
That, Cyclops, is what you must discover. The Brotherhood has become extremely active since their attack on Allison, which can only mean something sinister is in the offing. And whatever their plan, we must thwart it before they can set back the cause of human-mutant relations. The Harp Facility, eh? This will be an excellent opportunity to test the new cloaking device I've installed on the X-Jet. It should render us completely undetectable to radar. Excellent, Beast. You have your mission, X-Men. Godspeed. Jean Grey. Yes. Stay close. <gasps> you bet. Combo! Heads up, people! Catch you later, dweeb! Time you freaks learned a lesson! 